A communication tip for you guys, which is this. Great communicators spend more time in the shoes of the people that they're speaking to than they do in their own shoes or their own head or their own subject or their own material. This is why when you listen to a great communicator in whatever sphere they're doing their communication, you kind of feel somehow that they know you or they know something about you or they were in your life for the last couple of weeks or they were in your lounge last night. Um, that feeling of that they know you or know something about you is because they had developed the gift of empathy within them. Empathy is not I know you have pain. Empathy is that I also feel your pain. I feel your pain by finding something in my life and experience um, that is similar to what you must be going through now. And I intentionally go into those parts of my journey so that I might adjust my tone, change what I say, change how I say it, change my expectations for how people will respond to it, change how I measure even the results from what I say. All of that is what great communicators do. It becomes less about me and less about my presentation and less about how well I do or how well I say it and, or how well you even respond. It becomes more about um, is this is this being said from your perspective, listening back to me saying it? Or is it said simply from me saying it to you, which will only be my version, only my ideas, only how that applies to and lands in my world, but not necessarily yours. And great communicators spend time. Intentionally, they shift seats in their minds from their perspective, their seat, their microphone perspective, if you like, and go and sit amongst humanity, immerse themselves in humanity, and ask themselves, when I have said this, what will this sound like to a single parent or to a person battling a terminal illness or to someone that's just gone through a bereavement or to someone that is battling an addiction, someone in rehab, or to a successful wealthy person or to a person that has had no education or to someone perhaps in a developing world scenario or all of those different people, if you like, um, are in our hearts and our minds when we rehearse what it is that we want to say to humanity.